Good luck, everybody, in the Pop Art Poster Break. Hope. As with every one of these breaks, we randomly see which tube we're going to pop open. So we're going to start that random right now. Seven times through. And our number will be on the top of the list after seven. And that is going to be our box number. All right, so here we go. Lucky number seven. Hopefully it's an awesome box. And box 87. Yeah, I'm sure it will be because every one of these breaks has been really fun and nice hits coming out of here. I always like to have that envelope showing it. That envelope is basically the hit, whatever. That is going to show what the, who's getting the hit. So that envelope is so important. First thing we're going to do is randomize the owner name seven times. We're going to randomize both lists. Uh, I don't think so. I think there might be a spot left. I'll find out, Al. Uh, right after the break, but you can go there and check it out yourself. It's actually right here. Okay, somebody did close it. It's closed, apparently. So, yeah, that, that's closed. So, we'll be ripping um, that box, and then we'll have another box of those available. Back to the rip. We're going to randomize both lists seven times a piece. The owner name list and the color spots. So here we go. Lucky number seven. Boom. The first list is finished going through here. Bang. Biff, bam, boom. Maybe we'll get some kind of a Batman. <laughs> That's going to have to be my prediction is that it's a Batman related pop art poster. Now for the color spots. Random for the color spots. And we'll be stacking the lists up side by side if they go through here. That's how you get your color spot. Seven times, maybe. R, let's find some treasure, maybe. Hope. Lucky. Number. Seven. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. Everybody's got their color spot. Boom. Biff and boom. So there you have it. The color spots right here. So let's find out and see who's going to have the winning color spot by checking out this envelope and what is inside of here
And the winner is... Oh, this looks so cool. This is a Pearl Jam Golden Gate Park, San Francisco. The winner is Brown. Brown. Congratulations, Stephen K. And not only are you getting the Pearl Jam gig posters, well, I guess this falls in the category of one of the gig posters or show posters that are very rare. Ames Brothers, Pearl Jam, Golden Gate Park, San Francisco 2009 show edition. And it looks it looks really cool. This is a very, very fine piece of art here. You've also got a chance at the Pearl Jam Skeletons Emic Skeletons hit. So we'll take a look at that more in a second. But you can see the artwork here is done by... Um, it's one of these show posters. I'm not sure if Ames Brothers is... I think that might be a band that, that's shown with Pearl Jam, or it could be describing some of the art, the artists. I don't know. Golden State Park. Pretty interesting looking piece of artwork. That's his tongue. <laughs> So pretty cool there. Boom, boom, boom. So let's take a look. Not only do you have the pop art poster here from Pearl Jam, you also have a chance to win this item. Stephen K, congratulations. And good luck with your Pearl Jam Skeletons uh, possibilities here. That's what it looks like. Right there, it's a it's a double of the same one. It's kind of like a mirror image, and it has a lot of value. It's an uncut sheet. And you can see a little bit about the uh, one, and it says here, uh, we will make an offer on it once it's pulled. There are 15 tickets randomly inserted, valued at $100 each. You can trade your ticket or sell your ticket. A $100 value is what it's the ticket is guesstimated at. Each ticket is worth a spot in the break. So essentially, uh, you own a spot at hitting this thing. And there's not many spots left. Looks like you're holding number 11. So you'll see your name right in the number 11 spot in a few minutes. Uh, I'll get a chance to update that page. <laughs> yeah, we're both pretty big Pearl Jam fans. And they, they are very collectible. Like Pearl Jam has a lot of collectibles. People go nuts over Pearl Jam stuff. And um, they're one of the best live bands ever. Like they're they're like truly one of the best live bands. They never play the same songs twice at a show at back to back shows or whatever. You never know what they're gonna play. And people, really, you know, they they have a lot of artists do work for them in their gig posters, and so their gig posters are very like uh, you know collectible. And rare, just like a lot of other bands have famous artists do their gig posters. 
famous artists do uh, Pearl Jam's gig posters. And they become very rare. And once they put them out, it's like you can't get them anymore. They're gone. So the only way to get uh, some of those posters is through other collectors by trading or buying them. And so they become extremely rare. And uh, so I'm excited for you. Congratulations. Nice hit. Good luck with the skeletons. Good luck with the skeletons hit. The uncut sheet. And I can see the signature. This is Emic. The, the, the famous artist Emic here that's got this sheet, this uncut sheet. I can see it signed twice. Like it's hard to like get this picture any bigger, but it's, it's got like a, I can see a lot of print on it and stuff. So that's really cool. And um, so good luck everybody and some of the different things. And we'll, we'll be looking forward to the next pop art poster and uh, see what pops out here. And, you know, we're going to be random. This, this product is moving along. Oh, nice. It was an Emic. Nice. Uh, yeah, some of the artists in here is Emic's kind of featured through the product. And uh, his stuff is just very valuable. And that's why we had the bounties up because we're fans of this stuff too. And uh, so, you know, it's it's really cool. It's a fun, fun one to get into.